In this video, I will be showing you how to find keywords easy for your YouTube titles by leveraging YouTube keyword research, so you can get more views on your videos. I will be showing you 4 simple methods that will help you to find keywords or you to implement into your content and also what to focus on to have that unfair advantage over your competitors. Using these methods, you will not going to make any more videos that gain only a few couple of views. Instead, let's go where the fish are and lure in those views on your videos. And as a bonus for watching the entire video, I will reveal to you the secret recipe many of the big channels use to rank their content to the top. Now, remove any distractions because in the following minutes I will be giving you a lot of practical information so by the end of this video you will know exactly how to grow your channel faster. So feel free to grab a pen and paper or even save this video to the watch later folder then you can come back anytime and watch it again. Getting into it, what exactly are keywords and why are they so important? Well. Keywords are exact words that best describe your content. They can be single words or phrases in a precise order. For each word or phrase, there is a certain amount of search volume behind. The higher the search volume, the higher the chance for your video to get more views. But there is a catch. Behind each keyword, there is a ranking system. So every time someone finds and watches your video, when searching for a keyword, your video climbs up one step in the ranking system until it gets to the top of the search results list where the video will get most of the views. Remember that there are usually many videos on YouTube that are trying to rank for the same keyword at the same time. So, the less videos there are with a lot of views, the easier it is for a new video to rank to the top. Now let me tell you a pro tip for YouTube. When one of your video ranks for a keyword, your whole channel will also rank for that keyword, meaning that it will be much easier for your next video to rank if you make it around the same keyword. This is one of the main reasons why it is so important to upload videos consistently in the same niche. And actually nobody on YouTube is talking about it. If you are a small channel and you are uploading videos on many different topics on different niches, you are actually trying to rank for a lot of keywords at the same time. It's like running after 3 rabbits but ending up catching neither one. So stick around because I will show you how you can rank your videos to the top of the search results and have your channel be discovered by more people. But before we dive into the practical session, please tap that like button below. This will help the information spread and reach more people just like you. Now get ready to find highly searched keywords that have low competition. For doing effective keyword research, I will use YouTube search and predictions as well as vidIQ for more advanced features and metrics. If you haven't started to use vidIQ yet, you can start using it today. I'll leave you a link in the description where you can sign up for free and using the promo code it will give you 35% off 3 months on one of the paid plans enabling you to access more advanced tools. But if you're not sure about vidIQ yet, I would highly recommend at least grabbing the free version. For that you're going to need to install the Chrome Web Extension from the Chrome Web Extension Store. After installing it you will be able to see the metrics I'm going to show you next. So here is method number 1. Now I will open up YouTube and we are going to be focusing on the search bar. Let's say we want to make a video about vidIQ. I will type in vidIQ. Observe below as I start typing the letters how it automatically suggests words and phrases that people are looking for. Now these are your keywords. The auto suggest feature is your friend. We use it extensively when researching for keywords because it is the most accurate tool that will tell you what people are searching for now on YouTube. All the other tools and extensions are built around it. Keep in mind that these suggestions refresh automatically every 15 minutes as the viewer's interest change. Now, you don't want to go after these exact keywords. Even if you want to make a video about vidIQ, you're not going to name it simply vidIQ, right? Because you will never rank for it this way. VidIQ's channel is huge, with more than 1.7 million subscribers and they have already ranked for this keyword long time ago. We are actually looking for keyword phrases that include this keyword. Let's choose one from the suggested ones. Like this one, VidIQ Pro Free. Now this looks better. Let's see the results. As you can see, there is some competition around this keyword as other creators already use this exact keyword. Now, if you don't want to keep scrolling down each time to check your competitor's titles, you can simply press Ctrl F or Command F on your Mac to open up the Find window on Chrome. Then just type in the keyword and it will show you the number of times it found that keyword on this page. We are aiming to see a number as close to zero as possible. In this case, other creators have already made videos using this exact keyword, meaning that there is actually a lot of competition. So, let's add an extra word and see what happens. Going back to the search bar and pressing space after the keyword, it will further suggest what people are searching for. I will choose vidIQ Pro Free 2023. Let's see what comes up. Now using Ctrl F and Command F on Mac, I will also add 2023 here as well to see how many results are on this page. Now this is interesting. 
there is actually no other video using this exact keyword. So this is a good choice to integrate it into the title of your next video. I like it because it's much more clear and specific and it's full of keywords like VidIQ, VidIQ Pro, VidIQ Pro 3 and VidIQ Pro 3 2023. So this is actually what we want to discover and make videos about. Because making a video around this keyword is very powerful. It will bring you more views and you could be potentially making money even before hitting those 1000 subscribers, for example using affiliate marketing. Cause whenever somebody clicks the link in the description and makes some purchases, you will get a share from that sale. This technique is widely used on YouTube by many creators, especially bigger channels. You can use this for promoting products on Amazon, services, software or even your own digital products. Now this is not the topic of today's video, but write me a comment below if you're interested in knowing how you can start making money with a channel under 1000 subscribers. Getting back to the title, why do you think it is so powerful? If we look on the YouTube's page, after installing the VidIQ extension, you can see on the right side the card showing you the keyword difficulty score based on search volume and competition. So the power of this keyword is 71 out of 100 points, which is an excellent score. Ideally, you want this score to be at least over 50 or closer to 100. Below this gauge, there is a breakdown of the metrics, showing you exactly why this is considered a good keyword for you to use. First, we have the search volume score, 49 points, which is in the orange zone, but it's still a good keyword because below there is a competition score, which is in the green zone meaning that there is very low competition around this keyword and actually that is what we are aiming for. Keywords that have medium to high search volume and have the lowest competition score as possible. Now when you find keywords like this and both of the scores are as close as possible to the green zone, then you know you are on the right path for making a video that will get you a lot of views. Of course this implying that you make good quality content. Finding high volume low competition keywords are called content gaps meaning that few or no other creators have tapped into this opportunity. And you have to jump on it quickly, so time is key when researching for keywords. Because such keywords are rare and usually these content gaps don't last long. I know, researching these kind of keywords takes a little bit of time, but trust me, it is well worth it because nothing is more disappointing than creating an amazing video where you have invested a lot of time and energy, but after a few weeks, your video has only a few hundred views. A good keyword research will make the difference between getting a few hundred views to tens or even hundreds of thousands of views on your video. Now, another way you can go when researching for keywords is the ABC method or the alphabet game. Let me show you how it works. Going back to YouTube search, I will type in vidIQ again and press space. But now instead of selecting from the suggested terms, I will press letter A on my keyboard. Now it will give me as a suggestion the top search terms starting with the letter A. Now you can go in and see what the score is for each of them until you find the one that suits you. But if you didn't find any related keyword that has a good score, just continue by using the next letter from the alphabet game. Simply type B, C or whatever letter you prefer. Let's say you already have your keyword that you want to make your content around, just use the underscore method. Write in the search bar your keywords and add the underscore symbol between. For example, let's use the one we just found. Adding the underscore, it gives us exactly what people search for around this keyword. Let's choose the first that comes up. How to get vidIQ Pro for free 2023. Wow, the keyword score has increased and you can actually use this as the exact title for your video. Even more, it looks like a question that humans would actually type in. So combining these methods is very powerful. So do this until you find the right ones for you. The possibilities are endless. Now remember that I promised you at the beginning of this video an easy and fast way to find keywords. Here it is. Just simply use vidIQ's keyword research tool. Head over to VidIQ's website after you log in with your details. In the top menu of the dashboard, click on the Keywords button. After the page has loaded, just type in the keyword that you would like it to analyze. It will give you four scorecards. First, the Keyword Overview card with details on search volume and competition. Same as before on YouTube, the score is determined to help you gauge how effective this keyword is. You might be able to break into highly competitive search terms if you are a big channel, but if you are a small creator, it's better to stay focused on mid-range search terms with low competition. Second, the Related Keywords card shows you the related keywords to your search keyword or phrase. This card helps you discover other keywords and also suggestions for ideas on what other content you can create on for your future videos. Then, the Matching Terms card shows you keywords that contain your search keyword or phrase in any order. Exactly like the underscore method I showed you before. Using this card will help you discover specific topics or niches within your keyword. Choosing highly focused keywords enables you to become the expert for that particular keyword or phrase within a highly searched video topic. And finally the questions card 
shows you question type keywords that contain your keyword or phrase in any order. This card actually tells you what questions people are asking when searching for that keyword. So this feature takes your search keyword and turns it into the typical type of questions that people search for on YouTube to get answers. Do you realize how priceless this is to have this insight on your viewers? Knowing how to create better content, this is amazing. Because these ideas are super useful, especially if you're planning to create content that is targeted to receive significant views from YouTube search. Even more if you're a small channel. Creating content answering these questions will magically improve your audience retention graph of your YouTube videos, forcing the YouTube algorithm to push out your video to more viewers. Clicking on any of these three cards will expand the list so you have more options to choose from. Now let's see if we're able to find the same keyword faster. I'm using the same keyword as before on YouTube. I will type in vidIQ and press enter, let's see what comes up. Let's look at the questions card. The cool thing about this tool is that it has already found 300 question type keywords around the vidIQ word I typed in. Now expanding this card, it shows me the results as a list sorted by the number of searches per month for each one. What I like about this tool is that it also shows me the overall score for each question keyword and that I can sort this list based on this score. I will click here and sort it by this score so I can see the best ones first. Whoa, what do you know? The first one is actually the one we found before using the YouTube search bar, but this time it only took me two clicks. So no more struggling, no more brainstorming for hours and no more guesswork. I'm personally using this tool because my time is limited and I want to save as much time as I can in each step of the content creation process. Now remember you can save 35% of this tool by using the link in the description below along with the promo code. And keep in mind the next time when searching for keywords to focus mainly on ones that have at least 10,000 searches per month and the green overall score as close as possible to 100 points. You can use YouTube search suggestions together with vidIQ search card to find good keywords for your niche faster. Remember that keywords are super important because it tells YouTube who to present your videos to. Then if your video is presented to the right people, YouTube will promote it to similar viewers and your videos will rank opening up your channel to new audiences. Now that you know how to find keywords easy, either by using YouTube search or by leveraging VDAQ keyword tool, go and start your own researching. I highly recommend you to invest more time into this phase because more time on this step means more views on your videos later. And if you want to take your keyword research to the next level, we can watch this video on screen next where I will show you how to spy on your competitors, how to check if certain keywords are still relevant now and how to know if the keywords you found are still driving views today. So you can decide for yourself if it's worth investing your time and energy in creating a video around that keyword. But if it is still not on screen yet, please be patient, tap that subscribe button below so you will get notified as soon as it comes out. And meanwhile, if you're interested in finding out what other incredible tools VidIQ has to offer, click this video here where I will show you how you can get more views with VidIQ AI tools and also save time in your video creation process. Now, thanks for watching and I'll be seeing you in the next one.